is the time of year when honeybee colonies expand. This queen bee is laying eggs. Our honey is usually very light in Saskatchewan, so that's, um, it's very clear, light colored. Graham Parson is scraping frames and checking their health. I'm checking for disease and stuff. And we're adding boxes to give them more space, so a honey super, so they, um, this time of year there's lots of bees, they'll move up into that box and they'll be collecting, right now is dandelion honey, so putting that um, into the boxes as well. The Saskatchewan Beekeepers Association and the province's Ministry of Agriculture are working together to solve problems that are plaguing beekeepers, including varero mites. Varroa mites, they're a parasitic mite that sucks the, the bee blood, the hemolymph, out of the bee and also injects things like viruses into the, the bee system. This is the research site for the Saskatchewan Beekeepers Association. Parson and his colleagues are doing field trials. The mite levels, if they're, they're high in the spring, do the, do the uh, virus levels come up um, shortly thereafter or is it um, right in step? And then once we're treating for the varroa mites, um, what timing of treatment will get the virus levels down to where they're um, manageable for the colonies or where they're going to be healthy enough to come through the winter. The varroa mite transmits pathogens like viruses and bacteria. Bees get sick and die without human intervention. Farmers treat hives with formic acid and other chemicals to kill off the parasites. But some mites have become resistant to treatment compounds. Historical winter losses had been around 15%, so 15% of your colonies over winter you'd kind of expect um, wouldn't make it to the spring. With varroa mites we've had um, the kind of consistent winter loss has now been 30%. On a province-wide level the average is only double but if a producer loses his whole operation that's his whole operation so that's losing like losing your whole herd of cattle or something. Colony collapse has been a problem in the U.S. Fortunately, Wilson hasn't seen it on the prairies. Nobody really knows what it is, what it's caused by. They have a few symptoms. We haven't actually seen those symptoms in Saskatchewan, so we've been very lucky that way. Um, typically in the U.S. it's been described as bees just not being there after they appeared healthy originally. Bee farmers in Saskatchewan enjoy prime conditions. As a result, SAS bees produce more honey per colony than anywhere else in Canada. Last year, 18 million pounds of honey were harvested in the province. That's approximately $40 million worth of liquid gold. Services provided through pollination and uh, so fruits and even canola pollination works out to be about 10 times that at $400 million a year. The bees are later than normal this year because of the weather. Well this year we're seeing a very late spring and we're having issues with some beekeepers getting their bees to, to build up sufficiently for the main honey flow which is coming up which is canola when it comes into full bloom. So trying to help beekeepers manage to grow their bees faster. Amateur bee farmers and 110 commercial operations rely on the SAS Beekeepers Association for help. Parsons expects the results from his experiments to be ready by the fall. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizm.